Hello everybody! Welcome to this edition of Watching the Paint Dry. Today I'm going to sort of continue on my graphics journey I started with my previous episode and we're going to um, also discuss a little bit about a couple different types of streaming engines I use when I stream. Now what I'm recording this one right now I'm actually um, using a program, a freeware program. It's called OBS. Um, if you're starting out and um, podcasting or video streaming OBS is a good place to start it's free it generally works very very well you gotta be a little careful with the updates sometimes you're better off holding out um, on the updates until you know there's not any major issues with them but it's free it's rock solid I've used it all the last year for all the sporting events and um, I will continue to use it from time to time because when I'm doing something simple OBS is all I need now there's another program I use to stream quite often um, used it all of 2022 and uh, most of 2021 it's called um, vMix now this is a little more professional program this this was designed um, by people that had a video production background it just has that feel to it OBS just you know it's open source and it, it feels like it was made by a bunch of computer nerds and computer nerds and video nerds while we're becoming more and more one and the same the mindsets are a little different and the workflows in our head are a little different so I find vMix works better for me personally now you can get a free ver when well, you get a free version to try it out for 60 days you can buy a scaled down version for about 60 bucks I believe it is and it gives you the basics but it really don't let you take full advance of what vMix can and um, so you know a lot of times at that point if you got the 60 version $60 version of vMix or a free OBS I'm probably going to use the free OBS and just deal with its quirks just because I don't like spending money um, that being said, you can pay to get better, um, fuller featured versions of vMix. Um, you can pay a subscription. It's like 50, 60 bucks a month, but it basically will give you the latest, greatest edition, and you just pay it month by month as you need it. Um, I will probably dig into my own personal pocket this year and do that for football season just because um, vMix would give me the opportunity for some instant replays and allow me to really step up the football production so I'm probably going to pay it out of pocket it's only for two or three months um, I'll pay it out of pocket this year and if it goes well and it's something I want to continue then I will add it into the budgeting process for the cable station in future years and then probably go vMix from there on out um, another option for us down the road is TriCaster um, it's a company that does makes the video switchers that you use to switch between video consoles. They're the big push button things you see on TV. Take camera one, you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, all that programming is going cloud based. So I might be able to pay, you know, so much a year to the people at TriCaster, and then I'd have a full featured TriCaster, which previously would cost me $20,000. I might be able to pay a thousand dollars a year and have a full featured cloud-based TriCaster so um, that's definitely an option down the road it's amazing I'll be able to do these football games theoretically from my house in the next couple years I would just need somebody to set the cameras on up and turn them on everything else I could I could be in Iceland and producing a Milton Union football game that's where the technology is going so anyway vMix this is what you see on the screen right now this is the preview screen this is the program screen nothing unusual about that this is the preview this is the program on the right all right so I can have as many cameras as I want in here if I'm doing the subscription version the $60 only gives you four inputs now I showed you I was using Singular before, so let me get back up there for a second. There we go. Just a second. All right. Come back in here to VMix. I want to add 
singular to vmix which I can do that so it's browser based so essentially what I'm doing is I'm connecting a browser so I just come into input select more I scroll down to I find web browser click on that put in the URL click on that and I got the browser for singular live now let me bring something up because I don't think I have anything up and running right now. There we go. Turn that puppy on. Voila. I'm using Singular Live. I'm taking the internet, using a web browser into here. I've turned it on as an overlay and it's showing up over here on my program. So again you know and I can turn it on and off here you know I generally leave my overlays on and then the app I was showing you earlier where you could sit there and turn it on and off and play and stop and all that that could be on a different computer or somebody's phone or it could be somebody in Timbuktu doing the graphics um, or I could just have another window open on this computer as well so it's just amazing what you can do uh, like I said but you know, singular is great, but some certain things it's just it's a little funky with, and I want to have more capability and more options. So, I have another way I can do some titles as well here. So, give me just a second. All right, there's my singular live one again. So it's these buttons right here. I'd have, I'd have those buttons on a different um, computer, and then um, I can turn them off, on and off at will, and it all shows just fine. There we go. All right. This is GT Window um, Graphics Designer. It's um, part of the vMix software. And this is what it looks like when you bring it up. And, um, you know, nothing too impressive. You got the checkerboard background. That tells you that's a transparent background. So that's good to know. Photoshop does the same thing. File open football. All right. Here's what I'm looking at for football this year. Um, this is what the scoreboard I think is going to look like. I've pretty much settled on this. So what I have here is I have a basic scoreboard. I got you know the quarter, first and however, you know away team, home team score, whether there's a flag or not, and you know it's um, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, easy to use, so no problems whatsoever. Now, you design it much like Photoshop. Like for instance, this whole graphic, the background, the logo, and all that, um, I just make that in Photoshop and I import it in. All the text you see and the dashes for the timeouts, um, that I actually make in this program. Um, and I do that for a reason. So let me see if I can figure out how to do that. So I produce it in here. I get it like I like it. I save it. I get out of there. All right. I come back into vMix. Now vMix I can add. I can tell it to add a title. And I want to bring in the football. Brings it up just like it did the singular. I can turn that on. There you go. That would be the football flag. Now, 
is where it can get nice. Um, I can do shortcuts and hotkeys and things of that sort. So I, let me see if I saved any of them. I have none ready. All right. So like if I want to add a key, I can do that. And we're going to assign, we'll just use H for home function. We're going to set text which means I'm going to change the t a text that's on my um, score. Let me find it here. I keep adding more and more things in here. Set text. <coughs> the input, which these are the inputs down here. The input I want to use is the football 2024. And I want to find the one that says um, team two score because that's Milton. That's the home team because we do mostly away games. Now here's the value. I this is I always mess this up. So equals plus six. Let's see if I do that right. And I hit OK. And I hit OK. Alright, scores zero to zero. Oop, ain't quite right. I hit the H button, and when I have it right, it'll update add six to whatever the score is. So if it's zero, the score will be six. I can bring this in here and preview it. I can do some simple editing in here. There you go. So see, I hit H, it automatically acts six. Hit it again, 12, 18, 24, you get the idea. So I'll be able to set commands for everything. The add points, you know, one point, two point, three point, six points. For football and um, this will each have a hot key now I can use something called a stream deck which is basically a little panel that gives you a lot of different buttons on it I can program it where you hit this button and it'll have to automatically add the points to the uh, to the score and so that's what I'm creating this year we'll be using a stream deck um, for some shortcut hot keys um, for the scoreboards and all that I'll be able to hit a button and it'll bring this flag on and off be able to change the quarter um, things of that sort take away change the number of timeouts left um, so that'll be pretty nice and, and the reason I'm going to use the GT designer and use it in vmix is just because it allows me to do those shortcuts so the person doing the score won't necessarily need a separate laptop um, they'll just have that little stream deck and they can just uh, punch the appropriate button so it's actually you know fewer computers to haul around into a tiny press box and um, just less power consumption just it, it's better better all the way around again I can you know take that on and off just by clicking a button if I want and um, that anyway those are my two graphic my two graphic options you know one being one being singular and one being vmix so, like I said inputs you know I can add videos so if I want to do a video I can we can make a video ahead of time I can have it in half time you know hey let's we we went and followed this team you know yesterday this week and let's see how they went fared all right yep and we'll go and boom it'll run the video run the audio all that kind of stuff and then we're, when we're done you know you just fade and you come back to your game so um, you can add titles you can add video you can have audio you can do DVDs I can add collar bars if I want to if I want to do photos um, I'm supposed to be able to bring a PowerPoint into here I don't think I ever have I don't even know if I have a power point floating around right now well maybe yeah so. bring 
up the PowerPoint. Fade to that. And I sit here and give you a PowerPoint presentation. So that'll probably be my next video, actually. So um, VMix is a wonderful program. Um, but that gives you an idea of how I'm doing graphics in this day and age. I'm using um, Singular. I'm using VMix. I can use PowerPoint. I create a lot of stuff in Canva. This video was made in Canva, so I'm using Canva. Um, use GIMP um, using all of the above so anyway I hope you enjoyed this episode of watching the paint dry until next time bye bye